In this problem, we're given the acceleration vector and two conditions, and we have to find the velocity, the position, and the position at t equals 9. So let's go ahead and work through this. So solution. So we'll start by finding the velocity. So the derivative of velocity is acceleration. So we're given acceleration. So to find the velocity, all we have to do is integrate. So when we integrate the acceleration, we get the velocity. And now we have to integrate each of these. So when you integrate cosine, well, the derivative of sine is cosine. So this is going to be negative sine t, i hat. And the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So when we integrate negative sine, we get a positive cosine t, j hat. And let's not forget to add our arbitrary constant. And note this is a vector. So we've found the velocity vector. So now what we have to do is use our first condition. This is called an initial condition. So we're going to plug in 0 for all of the t's and set it equal to j hat plus k hat. So the velocity at 0 equals, notice I always forget the little arrows. <laughs> uh, it's going to be negative sine of 0 i hat plus cosine of 0 j hat plus c and that's equal to j hat plus k hat. All right, so now we just have to keep going. So sine of 0 is 0, cosine of 0 is 1, so we get uh, 0 i hat plus j hat plus c equals j hat plus k hat. So we just subtract the j hat. This goes away because it's 0. So we're left with c equals k hat. Let's go ahead and rewrite our velocity function. So our velocity function is v of t. That's equal to negative sine t i hat plus cosine t j hat. And now we're going to plug back in our c. So it'll be plus k hat. I'm going to put this in a box because that is our first answer. Good stuff. So now we have to find the position vector, or position vector valued function. So to do that, we have to integrate the velocity. So integrating the velocity, we get the position. When you integrate negative sine, you just get cosine, because the derivative of cosine is negative sine. When you integrate cosine, you just get sine, because the derivative of sine is cosine. So it worked out really nice there. You know, uh, all the negatives went away. And uh, when you integrate 1, you're just going to get t. So t k hat plus our arbitrary vector. We can easily check our answer by differentiating. If you take the derivative of cosine, you get negative sine, checks. Take the derivative of sine, you get cosine, checks. Take the derivative of t, you get 1, it checks. Now we're going to use our last condition. So r of 0 equals i hat. So r of 0. Well, cosine of 0 is 1, so it's just going to be 1 i hat, plus sine of 0 is 0, so it'll be 0 j hat. Then we get 0 k hat plus c, and that's equal to i hat. Oh, that's really nice, because uh, basically we just subtract i hat, and it goes away, right? Everything else is 0, so we simply get c equals 0. So that means that r of t, I'll write it down here, I'll squeeze it in, is going to be cosine of t i hat plus sine of t j hat and plus t k hat. And the c is gone because the c is equal to 0. So that would be our position function. So now all we have to do is plug in 9. So let's go ahead and do that. It's kind of a funny number to plug in, 9. It's not really going to... We're just going to get a strange answer. So r of 9 basically means you put a 9 where all the t's are. So we'll get cosine of 9 i hat plus sine of 9 j hat plus 9 k hat. And that's pretty much it. You can't really do anything else uh, with that. You know, it's 9 radians, so I mean, it's not even degrees. It's, 
it's just it's just a number so i hope this video has been helpful take care